Welcome back everybody. It's a beautiful day. It's almost 70 degrees out here. I'm finally uh, fulfilling a, a bucket list here and I've got my Daiwa Master Long Level Line 36 rod. Been itching to get it out for months since I've had it and I'm fishing a new piece of water. Didn't have my camera on, uh, not knowing what to expect. There was some reclamation of an area over here and there wasn't any sign of fish at all but it came a little bit further away and and caught this nice brown but stick around um, hoping uh, to catch a few more hey everybody so here i am with my master tenkara long level line 36 made by daiwa it is a phenomenal rod. It doesn't collapse very short, but the people that have it can't say enough good things about it. And I've had it for several months. This beautiful sparkling kind of purple and blue and some greenish in there. Um, I've had it for several months. Bought it during the winter and haven't had an opportunity on a small stream, but you can see right here, this is kind of perfect water for it and they just put in that bridge down below where i got in uh no last summer maybe they finished the job so there was a lot of construction and kind of rebuilding of the creek so there was no fish down there yet but when i came up to this run here i just caught a beautiful brown and it gave me all the fight i could handle with this rod so hopefully we can uh, coax another one out of here this rod is Every bit as awesome as everyone has said it is between Tom Davis and Chris Stewart. They use some pretty strong accolades and I can see why. It does have a very different feel to it than I expected. So they describe it as a, a full flex rod, which it is based on uh, the arc I saw when I was fighting that fish and just the casting, but it's kind of like a stiff full flex. It's only 14 pennies, but uh, it's definitely different than anything I've, I've used before. There's only four sections to this 12 foot rod. And so it really bends smoothly throughout the power stroke. It doesn't take much effort to cast and if you put a little power into it it will really zip the line out there uh, it looks like a little bit of a braid here an irrigation ditch you got a good hole on each side of me i think that uh shaded spot might be really good but let's try this one first with low clear water then I'm, I'm thinking if i can find any sort of obstructions and shade might be better off. Let's try this shady spot behind me first. You got an upstream breeze, you can see. It's not letting me drift down. You might have to go downstream and fish it facing up hit upstream a bit or do a little swing here maybe got to be something up tight there there we go oh it came off darn it knew it had to be one in there all right, so we'll try this little hole here at this uh, irrigation diversion. I don't see anything in there. That doesn't mean there's nothing in there. Right there. Oh! <laughs> I saw him come up after it. I probably ne I needed uh, to pause a little bit longer. A little uh, too eager, and I don't think he had it fully in his mouth yet. 
and needed to wait for him to turn. He just took it real slow. It's hard to be patient when you see him drifting up, coming right at it. I saw his mouth open and the line hadn't moved yet. I needed to wait just a split sec. Oh, and here comes another one. I saw another one moving. Could have been the same one, I guess, but. There we go. I gave it a little bit of action. I saw it following it. The little guy. Not sure what it is. Oh, it looks like a little brown. Definitely smaller than that first one. Cute little fella. Hey, there he goes. Right back, oh, right back where he came from. All right. I think this may be the last spot. So let's get her done. And I don't know how I'm gonna land a fish if I hook him with this big log in my way, but I wanted to use it as cover. Now well, let's try a little downstream sasoi from up above here where I can't get from there. spot there maybe I need to try too. Got to get one more. It looks good right now up next to this log here. I'm just not in a spot where I can fish it properly. Oh fish swiped at it. Let's try that again. Oh, there he missed it. Oh. That's why I love going on the downstream. He just barely touched it. I don't know if he might not. Oh, he swiped at it again. There he is. Oh. He hit it that time, but I think that was a different one. They just have a hard time. laying off those downstream presentations sometimes. That's three, three swipes. That is the downside to the downstream though is frequent misses.